Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a fun one for you today. We've got three little hover effects. We've got three little images right here when I hover over the first one. It's a simple fade in. When I take it off, it's going to go back out again. Second one is a little text drop down. It's going to fade back up again when I take it off. And the third one, text is going to spin in and spin back out when I take it off. No coding involved in this today at all. These are really eye-catching little features to have on your site. People are mousing around and this sort of thing happens. It's going to get their attention pretty quick. Of course, they will work on tablet and mobile, but people will have to tap on them. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. and I'll get rid of these images here. OK, I've got a section, the blue tab. Inside the section, I've got a row with three columns in it. I'm going to delete that row. We'll start from scratch there. I'm going to hit the little green button to add a new row. Obviously, put in as many or as few that you need. I'm going to put in three, as that's what we have. I'm going to use a simple call to action module for mine today. I'm not going to bother putting a button on it. You can add a button if you want to. Obviously, put your title in there. If you're having a button, put what you want your button to say in there. The button won't show up till you put a link in there. And put whatever text you want down below. This is a regular WYSIWYG text field. I'm going to leave this exactly like it is. As I mentioned before, if you want to link this module or the button or both, just down below you've got link right there. If you put a link in there, I'll put one in just so you can see. The buttons are going to show up, but I really don't want a button in mine today, so I'm going to get rid of that. If you want them to link the actual module itself to somewhere, you can put a link in here. Always best practice if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site to somebody else's site, put it in a new tab. That way your sites can stay open. OK, background. Well, I've got a default color on mine at the moment. I'm going to change that from blue to black and we'll play with that a little bit more later on. OK, this first module, we don't want to see anything at all. We just want to see an image when we first look at this page. Then when we hover over it, we want this to fade in. If you've seen any of my other image to text fades, you'll know the image that we're going to be looking at actually resides in the column this module sitting in. So let's go add an image to this column. To do that, I'm going to go into the green tab for the row. Here's our first column we're working on here. I'm going to click on the little cog there. And the content, I'm going to go down to background. Let's add an image. Pop that one in. Great. Of course, we can't see it because our module's on top. But this is where the fun starts. Now, while we're in this row, let's save this. It'll take us back to the main row settings. I'm going to add a couple of images to these other columns that we'll be using when we do the other hover effects. So I'm going to go into column two, background, We'll add an image to that one. You won't see anything because there's no content in column two to give it any depth. Save that back to the main row settings and let's pop another one in column three. Just save us a bit of time later on. Great, let's save this now. We can start working on this first fade effect. Save the row settings. Okay, we don't want to see this at all initially. So what we can do, we can go in there for the module we're talking about now, over to the design tab, we're going to go down to filters. If I click on it, we're going to roll down and you'll find one called opacity there. Now common to all Divi modules, if you roll over the dark writing, you'll see some little icons appear. Roll over the thing you want to affect, opacity in our case. If there's a little arrow there, we can create a hover effect. Desktop, if you click on the desktop tab, is when the mouse is not on it. So when the mouse is not on it, I don't want to see it at all. I'm going to drag that opacity all the way down to zero. So we've just got the image. Then when they hover over it, I want to bring it all the way back. Now the time it takes to get from desktop to hover state with Divi is 300 milliseconds, which is pretty quick. It'll work if you want to, that's fine. If you want to slow it down or speed it up, I like to slow it down slightly for a bit of drama. Go over to your advanced tab. This is always where you'll find transitions. There's the default 300. I'm going to up mine to say 700. Don't want any delay. Want it to happen as soon as the mouse hits it. 
And the speed curve I like to use for these hover effects is easy in and ease out. They're all subtly different. Certain ones are working, will work better in some situations than others. Great. The only other thing I want to do is when this comes down, I'd like to still see a hint of the picture behind it. So what we can do is go back into our content, go to the background, click on the field, you'll see this variegated slider. We can drag that down until we can see a little bit of the image behind. I just think it adds a bit of interest value. I'm going to take mine to about 75-76%. Somewhere around there it's going to work fine. Great, well if we've done that first one correctly, it all should work for us now. Let's save our changes. We'll save the page changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. There's a little hint of those two images we got in those columns there that we've not built yet. So there's our first image. When I roll over, it's going to take 0.7 of a second to roll in or fade in when I take my mouse off it's going to ease back out again. Really simple and effective little image to text hover effect. Well let's go ahead and do the other two. I'm going to enable the visual builder again. And for a time saver I'm going to copy the module that we've got here already. Just click on the two squares to duplicate. Drag one of them across, doesn't matter which one. They're both identical. And there it is, we've got it in our other column now. Now remember, we've already set our background color and we set it to fade in and we've got a fade time. This one, I'm gonna add a little twist to, so it spins in as well. Really easy to do. I'm gonna go into it. We've got everything else set up the way we want it to. Transition time and background there. This time I'm gonna go to design. I'm gonna leave that filter on so it still fades in, but it's gonna fade and spin in. Over in Design, right at the bottom, we're going to find Transform, just above the animation. Third tab is Transform Rotate. We're going to do the same thing as we did before. I'm going to hover over, get the little icons up, click on the arrow so we can create a hover effect. Now on Desktop, it's faded out so you can't actually see it. I'm going to roll this all the way around to 359 so it's almost a whole rotation round you can't do 360 because it'll take it back to zero 358 there 359 great and when they hover over it I'm going to bring it back to zero I don't know if you can tell there that's just slightly off horizontal it's 359 instead of being 360 but that's in the fade out state so when they hover over it I'm going to make that zero so it's completely straight. Now just to demonstrate that for you, I'll take away the opacity from that filter there so you can see the two states there. So there's the filters, let's go down to our opacity. You can see it spin like that. Just to demonstrate, I'll bring the opacity in so you can see it. It's slightly off kilter there. When I do this, it's going to spin almost a whole rotation all the way around like that. Great. I'm going to take that opacity back out. Now I don't know if you notice when it spins its corners are sticking out there and we'll fix that in a moment. Well, I'm not going to save this and demonstrate it for you on the front end. Let's go ahead and do the next one. That one's already done. Next one I'm going to have drop down from the top here. So again, to save time, I'm going to take the first one that we did that's already got the fade and the transition in it, duplicate it, pull it over. Okay, well this one's slightly different. Let's go in there. What we've actually got to do with this is we've got to push the whole module up here until it's out of the way. Then when they hover over on, we've got to drop it back down. And we can do all of that with padding and margin. So let's take the opacity away so you can see exactly what's going on. I'm going to go to the design, back to our filters, and we'll put this back on at the end. Back to our opacity again. I'll drag that up so you can see it. So we've got a regular module right there. Now we want to push it way up the top here. So still in design, we want to go to spacing. Let's close up filters, spacing's just there. 
to get it at the top there I'm going to give it a negative margin of say 400 pixels which should be plenty to shoot it out of the way I imagine that's about 3, 325, 350 at most so I'm going to guess at 400 so I'm going to type the negative sign 400 px and as you can see it's jumped up here which is fantastic we could shave a little bit off of that probably Let's take 350 perhaps not that it's going to matter because we're going to hide all this in a minute okay that looks about right but we've got to have some way of triggering it when we hover over it to bring it down so what we're going to do is I'm going to give it a lot of padding on the bottom there so 400 and you can see it comes down there a little bit too far let's just shave off 10 of those let's say 390 perfect so we've got padding down here that we can use as a trigger to be able to bring it back down when they hover over it if we would not had any padding there then we wouldn't be able to trigger this so again what we're going to do is bring up little icons get the hover state up on both the margin and the padding because you need to do them individually with their hover states so when we hover over it I'm going to take that padding bottom back down to zero when we hover over the margin I'm going to take that margin negative top back down to zero and it drops it back down there it looks like we need a bit of padding on the bottom there let's just adjust that so we've got the same as the rest of them there I think 40 picks should do it perfect so when they hover they're going to see that when the mouse is not on it it's going to disappear but we want to get rid of that background when they're not hovering over it so let's go back to our content there here's our background again we want to get up the little arrow hover state desktop state we don't want to see any background at all so I'm going to just click on the field bring the opacity all the way down we've got a perfect image there and we can't see this either but when they hover over it it's going to drop in there I do want a background so I'm going to go in there and bring that back 75 percent or wherever it is that works for you when it comes down now if I do that again you'll see it's spilling up the top here now we don't want to see any of this and the same thing when this thing span just now so we can do that very easily let's say what we got here I'm going to go into the row the green tab itself don't have to worry about the first column that works fine there's nothing spilling out the second one we've got that spin going around there so let's go in there second column middle column I'm going to go over to advance down to visibility you've got horizontal and vertical overflow I'm going to change both of those to hidden and that'll hide anything that spills out of this column here so when that spins you won't see those corners I'm going to do exactly the same to the column next door save that back to the main row settings column 3 over to advanced and you see this all up here when I hide it it should disappear let's go back to visibility horizontal hidden vertical hidden fantastic and we should be good to go let's save our changes here save the main row changes hit the little purple button save draft or publish if you're ready let's exit the visual builder there's our three little images our first one we know works it's just a simple fade in text over image second one should spin in spins and fades when we take our mouse back off it spins back out again and the third one should drop down from the top and when we take the mouse off disappear back up there again and of course once you've done one of these it's easy to duplicate just simply hit the two little squares and change things now you're probably going to have different amounts of text in yours if you want them all to be the same height let's go in there I'll show you how you can set them to a fixed height I'll quickly enable the visual builder again to go in and set a fixed height just go into the module itself over to design here you've got sizing 
down here you've got height let's say fix this to 350 perhaps and you can use the slider or you can type in a value see as I'm sliding it's bringing it bigger or smaller and you can set a fixed height so if you've got different amounts of text they're all going to have exactly the same height so what does that look like 322 323 and obviously just set that for your other ones and you can go in there change the amount of text and it should still be exactly the same height let's just hover over set up the hover state as you can see it's still covering the whole thing and we've got our text right there so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to the YouTube channel don't forget if you've got any questions drop them below, down below the video I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day